Well, we had two good days, so that's yeah. something, right? We, yeah, we kind of did. We've had we had actually a string of good days. We had I some guess. sunshine yeah. and we had some warmer temperatures for parts of last week, you know. But the weekend has been all 50s. You know, normal mid mid to late April temperature yeah. should be mid 60s. You know, no complaints here yet. It's not bad, you know, but we have a lot of rain to talk about, like like a, like a lot of rain, and it's going to be rainy like all week long. You know, have us talking about this all week long. So we sounded like a little bit of a broken record, sorry about that. But let's talk about that rainfall. First off, the temperatures for right now, Crossman, Michigan, they're not that bad. This is part of the good news in tonight's forecast. We're not getting that cold. Uh, most of us should stay in the low 40s. We're still up to 50 in Lansing, 42 the coolest spot in Ithaca, still up to 51, Ionian in 50 as well. In Hastings, we have this brisk easterly wind, which might make it feel a bit cooler at times. But that's also why we're not cooling down that much. It's not that north or northwesterly wind. It's an easterly wind. It's just kind of keeping us steady with the increase in cloud cover that we've been experiencing. It's kind of helping to trap in a lot of that heat. You can see how much cloud here it's gotten over the last several hours. We did see some afternoon sunshine. Lately, over the last half hour or so, we started to see little bits of these green spots pop up on the radar over mid-Michigan. I checked outside. I'm not even seeing any raindrops really. If anything, it's more like a drizzle or a sprinkle here and there. For the most part, we'll just see light possible rain after midnight. The more widespread rainfall comes later tomorrow morning. And you can see it's been very rainy over the, off to our west today. Most of that is staying off to our west, kind of traveling just slightly north, which is why it's staying over parts like Wisconsin, Illinois. They had that line of severe weather move past Iowa. There were several tornado reports today, and it's continuing even now as you go later on into the night. Severe weather still popping up over parts like Arkansas. And I like this view at the moment. You can see how large this system is. It's, there's the center right there, kind of rotating right around Kansas and Nebraska. That's the low pressure center. It's moving very slowly. So it's taking like two or three days just to move past Nebraska. It's going to be another few days before it moves past the Great Lakes region, which is why we have so much rain in the forecast. Let's have a look around as we uh, zoom in on this system. There's your severe line of rain showers and thunderstorms moving past. They have since diminished and over parts like uh, Arkansas, for example, they're still getting severe weather popping up as we speak. Tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. They had their first tornado fatalities, unfortunately, two at least reported in Oklahoma earlier today. Otherwise, a uh, quick glance off to our west, I mean, look at this, big difference here. They actually have some snowfall over parts like Nebraska and South Dakota. So you can see the wide impacts from this one system here. And I'll move on as we go over the next 48 hours. You can see we don't see too much of the rainfall moving to our area until later tomorrow morning. And it could be some heavy rainfall at times, developing in another line as well and becoming just generally more widespread and long lasting. Maybe we'll catch a break here or there, but it's going to be on and off or just a steady rainfall pretty much all Monday long as the low pressure center gets closer and closer to us. Monday night, more rainfall. Tuesday, more rainfall. And of course, it continues. We can see at least a good half an inch of rain or so for parts of tomorrow. And here's a look at what we can expect. This is all rainfall, of course, but it's potentially heavy rainfall. Like I said, heavier amounts to the southwest for, for Monday as it moves more towards the northeast. At least everybody should see a good tenth to two tenths of an inch of water here. That's a lot of rainfall in just a day, and it continues for the majority of the remainder of our forecast. As we go on for our temperatures, cooling down to around 40 degrees tonight, warming up to low 50s around noontime tomorrow, where we'll likely be at our warmest in the early afternoon. And then we stay in the 50s pretty much all afternoon and upper 40s to around 50 degrees for most overnight temperatures warming up actually for parts of the overnight as we get a south wind giving us those temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, much warmer and uh, your forecast tonight about 40 degrees chance for some rainfall 53 degrees tomorrow and more widespread rainfall and windy conditions we could see some thunderstorms as well high our wind advisory is in effect for uh, up until 8 a.m. tomorrow to 8 p.m. tomorrow. In your seven-day forecast, there it is. A lot of rainfall. Warmest Tuesday, Wednesday. Chances for some scattered thunderstorms Monday through Wednesday as well. Just a lot to talk about this a week. A lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also those advisories and things. Yeah, so keep the umbrella handy. Bring a jacket. It will be windy tomorrow. Just if you have any outdoor plans, be weather aware. Find something good to do inside if you can. I'd say so. All right.